When it comes to AI and big data innovation, what is the single biggest challenge organizations are facing nowadays? It is being able to use the customer data in a way where maximum utility is preserved and where the privacy of each and every one of the customers is kept safe and secure. And of course, it's complying with GDPR, CCPA and all the other data protection regulations out there. So what could be a solution to this problem? Some believe that it is data anonymization, since anonymous data is exempt from data protection regulations. But the problem is, research has demonstrated over and over again that classic anonymization simply fails in the era of big data. Firstly, because in order to protect privacy, it destroys information, which is bad if you want to do AI training or big data analytics. Secondly, and this is even worse, despite destroying so much information, research has demonstrated that it's still easy to re-identify your customers, which puts your organization at regulatory and reputational risk. So what should an organization do that wants to be data-driven and customer-centric? And the answer to this question is, use synthetic data. I'm Alexandra, and we at Mostly AI enable organizations to innovate on synthetic data instead of real data to deliver the best possible experience and the best possible products to their customers without infringing their privacy. Today, I'm happy to welcome you to our mini-series on synthetic data, where you will learn everything from what synthetic data is, why it is needed, and why classic anonymization fails for big data. But we will also talk about how synthetic data helps you with privacy protection and how some of the largest brands in the world use synthetic data to fuel their digital transformation. So stay tuned for our next clip.